Hey guys, it's your old buddy Sam saying hi. How you doing? Hope you're doing well in this video. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about some things that are going on over at Twitch. I'm not really going to bring any of it up by name, but uh, yeah, you can see the picture. And I'm sure most of you have already seen what's going on with that and everything else. Um, I want to preference this before we go any further. Number one, if you if you are a transgender person, it's okay to be a transgender person. And if you're a furry slash think you're an animal, hey, that's okay too. As long as you're not hurting anybody, everything's fine. That's kind of how I feel about it anyway. <clears throat> but the thing that I want to bring up to you is right now, I'm sure there are a lot of people that are thinking if they're on Twitch, well, I'm about ready to jump ship somewhere else. I know that there's Mixer, I know that there's DLive, I know that there's plenty of other streaming services out there that you can jump to, and, you know, if you have a decent following, or if you, you'll probably have a few of your followers go with you no matter where you go, if they're dedicated followers to your stream. What I want to point out to you is, with your Twitch affiliate agreements and how all that works... So basically, the first thing that you need to note is if you decide to close your Twitch affiliate account, if your account has not accumulated a $100 or more, if you close your account before you do that, you automatically forfeit the money back to Twitch. Um, I had this happen to a friend of mine who was at $83 in an account in the affiliate account for Twitch and because they terminated their affiliate agreement they lost that money so that does happen so my first thing to you would be if you're thinking about jumping ship and breaking your Twitch affiliate agreement please wait until you accumulate at least $100 that way you can get the payout and you will get the money that you've earned from Twitch one thing that you need to note here is this you can't stream to twitch and another platform at the same time however you may stream to other platforms at any time you're not locked into streaming only to twitch so what that basically means is um you can continue to scream <laughs> scream sorry you can continue to stream to twitch one or two days a week and then for the rest of the week, you can move to a different platform and begin streaming on that platform immediately. <clears throat> so let's say that you're an affiliate and you have, uh, I don't know, let's say you have $95 in your affiliate account. What the best thing for you to do would be, in most cases, um, get somebody to put you over the threshold of $100. And then when you have that $100 in your account... Within 15 days, you get that money. So what you want to do is once Twitch has sent you out a payment, if you want to close your affiliate agreement, you can close that affiliate agreement at any time and still get the money. So don't let Amazon, don't let Twitch take your money before you get it. So if you want to be, if you want to get your money out, wait till it gets to 100 bucks. And then close the affiliate agreement on your account. And also, like I said, you do not have to stream only to Twitch. You can't stream to Twitch and Mixer at the same time. However, what you can do is you can stream to Mixer one day and then you can stream to Twitch the next day if you want to. Mixer was just the first one that came into my mind as an example. So that's perfectly fine. Go ahead and continue streaming to Twitch until you meet your $100 threshold or stream to Twitch two days a week, three days a week, another platform on the other days, and you'll still be able to get your money. And once you hit that $100 threshold, you can close out your affiliate agreement if you want to do so, and you're going to get the money. But make sure just so you're safe to get your money. Wait until the payment hits your preferred payment method, whether it's going to be your bank account, your PayPal account, or however else you get the money. Make sure you have the money in hand 
before you close out that affiliate agreement. And also, it's like I said as well, you can stream to another service and still stream to Twitch. You just can't do it at the same time. Let's say, for example, that I wanted to stream to YouTube and a mixer at the same time. I could do that. Let's say that I want to stream to YouTube and D Live at the same time. I can do that. Let's say I want to stream to Twitch and YouTube at the same time. I can't do that because of the affiliate agreement. I know there are some people that do, and I'm just I'm just giving you this information to cover your ass, basically. So that's really all that I have to say about it. But um, to sum it all up, all you have to do to get your money, if you're thinking about um, closing out your affiliate agreement, is make sure that you get to the $100 threshold. Um, once you've hit that $100 threshold, wait 15 days for the money to come into your account. And once you have done that, close out the account in the affiliate agreement and you don't have to worry about a Twitch affiliate agreement anymore if that's what you choose to do so. Now I know that there's a lot of small streamers that they only stream to Twitch but they're also thinking about moving to a different platform because of, once again, some of the things that are going on. I'm here to tell you right now there's not really another streaming service that if you're a small streamer will set you up to where you can earn money except not th except through direct donations at this time that may be part of your decision to stay on twitch and that's fine if you, it's what you want to do but if you if you have problems with the direction that you think twitch is going in and you want to go somewhere else these are ways to Cover your ass and make sure that you can get your money from Twitch and then go somewhere else and do something else if you choose to. And uh, that's really all I had to say about it. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Once again, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.